What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Gold Penny on G New Car Truck SUV Reviews on YouTube. And today we are in the brand new 2025 BMW X5, courtesy of BMW of York in York PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in this one today because to start, this is an IIHS top safety pick, which is great. But on top of that, there's actually new safety for the 2025 model year as well. So that's pretty cool. And ultimately, this is a very popular SUV from BMW. So we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering fuel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there's essentially two different configurations for the X5. You have the S Drive 40i starting at $65,700, which is a modest $500 bump from the 2024 model year. Then you got the X Drive 40i, the one that we have today, going for $68,000. Of course, those are starting prices. There are a ton of different options for the X5. So prices tested is much higher than that, of course. But regardless of the configuration that you go with, the power plant is going to be the same. Powering the X5 is a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder with a 48 volt mild hybrid system, putting out 375 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, 398 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 1,800 RPM. Power being sent to rear wheels or all wheels. That's what the S drive versus X drive means. The S drive is rear wheel, X drive is all wheel. Power sent to the ground through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifter, zero to 60 time, approximately 5.3 seconds. We'll test that out in a little bit here though. Top speed, 155 miles per hour in case you were interested. With MPG numbers coming in at 23 in the city, 27 on the highway. Whether or not you go with the rear wheel drive or the all wheel drive, it's gonna be the same taking premium unleaded fuel. Another cool thing about that fuel information though is that I started this drive with a full tank and actually it showed me 581 miles of range. That's an extremely impressive range number. That's so much time between Phillips, which is absolutely wonderful. So perfect road trip vehicle. But anyways, before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in the X5, did want to mention to you guys, the drive modes are kind of located just behind that uh, shifter there. Drive modes will include Eco, Pro, Comfort, and Sport, adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, and the steering sensitivity. So now that we got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's find a straight away here let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here all right let's just test out the paddle shifters real quick here go <laughs> dang they're quick the other cool thing about the paddle shifters though is it actually does kind of uh it lights up the gauges a little bit when it tells you that it's time to shift which is pretty darn cool as well but Dang, and there is a full manual shift mode. I started out in first gear and I held it there for a couple seconds just to see if it would shift for me and it didn't. So that's super nice. You just press the shifter back an extra time there, give back full control to the car now. But yeah, paddle shifters are lightning quick, which is, it, which is an extreme rarity if I could talk in SUVs. So typically you find that in sports cars, but very rarely in SUVs. And this isn't even an M car. So that's insane. Paddle shifters are wonderful. Now let's go ahead and find one more straightaway. I gave back full control here to the x5 and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right from a standstill in three two one go not bad that is not bad that is not bad so i was expecting some kind of a delay because turbocharged and all that but i think it's because of that 48 volt mild hybrid system there actually wasn't really any delay i mean it wasn't like uh, electric vehicle kind of acceleration, but that was dang good. So turbo lag was eliminated because of the 48 volt hy hybrid system. And that was plenty of an acceleration to merge you onto any highway here in the US. So yeah, that's plenty quick. Paddle shifts are really what impressed me though. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration as always, braking is equally important. And so four wheel ventilated disc brakes do come standard on the X5. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in at a very impressive actually, 119 feet. So as far as braking feel goes, it's okay. 
it's okay. I don't mind it. And really what I say in the past is anything in the one teens is really a sports sedan number. So that is plenty fine for what the X5 is. I'll just put it that way. So I got no issues with the braking there. But so then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get a double wishbone type front suspension in the back, a lightweight multi-link integral rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, that's been perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today. Definitely above average for the ride quality. This thing is absorbing Pennsylvania's road perfections very nicely and there are so many of them here in york let me tell you guys so 100 on point with the ride quality as far as steering feel goes this is definitely on the heavier side of things it's not super heavy but it's a lot heavier than most of the other luxury suvs that i test drive i will say that which i personally prefer it gives the driver a better feeling of being in control of this one but what impressed me the most about the x5 is the cabin noise or the lack of cabin noise this is an incredibly serene cabin like extremely luxury like serene cabin so i can imagine there's very easily front laminated glass as well as laminated front door glass as well because this is one of the most serene cabins i have experienced in quite a while so wonderfully serene cabins one of the first things i noticed like i said so incredible there touching our rear visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back because of the shape of the x5 it's not like a coupe like version so you really shouldn't have any issues with rear visibility there on top of that though when touching on forward visibility rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the x5 so whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on the windshield wipers for you so kind of like automatic headlights it's definitely very nice and there's an optional head up display available I am actually looking at it right now that goes for eleven hundred dollars but this is one of the coolest head-up displays that are available right now on the market and the reason being is because when you change the drive mode it actually adjusts the the loadout or the entire look of that head-up display you would think it would adjust the gauges because it's a digital gauge cluster but it definitely adjusts the head-up display as well completely changes the look dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in so that's something that bmw really does better than every other manufacturer is the head-up display customization so i don't know why that's a big deal to me i just think it's cool but anyways that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2025 bmw x5 all right so here she is you guys the new 2025 bmw x5 finished in mineral white metallic which by the way is a 650 dollars paint option if you wanted to go that route but it looks good in my opinion but as always let's go ahead and start with where the x5 is made taking a look at the vin first character is the number five indicating that the new x5 is built and assembled here in the u.s believe it or not specifically south carolina which is pretty cool because i'm heading off to myrtle beach in a couple months so Heck yeah, but anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Active kidney front grille with satin aluminum or gloss black surrounds, dependent upon the configuration that you go with, of course. An active kidney front grille, active meaning that the grille shutters are going to open and close dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. So that's a pretty cool little feature there. Gloss black finishes to the front end with that M Sport package that we have today. Otherwise, you're gonna find a lot of more body colored finishes really that's going to be the big difference between the two you do have those front air curtains finished in gloss black with our m sport of course to the sides there that's going to help direct air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better aerodynamics of course led headlights with led daytime running lights of course do come standard get the automatic feature with them along with automatic high beams so if you have your high beams on at night and it says there's a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there so pretty convenient illuminated front grille is going to be optional that is available so i wanted to mention that and of course to the bottom in the middle there you can see that adaptive cruise control sensor so that's definitely pretty well integrated into the front end there so overall pretty darn good looking front end but now let's go ahead and swing around to the side all right simba now since we are around to the side of the x5 taking a look up top there you are going to find either satin aluminum or gloss black roof rails, of course. Again, with the M Sport, everything's gonna be gloss black. I'm gonna stop saying it now. Uh, same thing with the side uh, window surrounds as well. You do have rear privacy glass coming standard, of course. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals. Gotta love that. And they're actually power folding as well. So that is pretty darn cool if somebody gets a little bit too close to you in the parking spot. But 
Anywho, taking a look down at those uh, fender accents down there. Um, they are not functional. They are just for show, but they do look good nonetheless. Then taking a look down at the wheel setup, 20 inch V-spoke aluminum alloys do come standard. However, there are 20 inch, 21 inch, and 22 inch wheel designs available to really customize this one and make it your own. One of my favorite things though is the uh, body colored side skirts and fender surrounds. If you guys watched my videos before, you know that's something I usually harp on because so many SUVs out there typically will finish that in a matte black but the body colored accents always look so much better so much more high end in my opinion so well done bmw for doing that but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and swing around to the back all right so now since we are around to the back of this one all the way to the top it's a pretty interesting design uh shark fin antenna i'll try to show that to you guys but it's a little different of a design it's got two shark fins almost to the sides there but anyways uh rear spoiler with an integrated brake light does come standard you got the rear window wiper of course as well led tail lights do come standard another thing i want to show you guys is you do have led license plate lighting up there underneath so that is pretty cool to see as well um to the bottom there you guys see that tow hitch that's an option we do got that option of course i think it goes for six or seven hundred bucks so that is available but to the sides bmw always crushes it with their exhaust i swear they've done this for a while but integrated dual exhaust outlets with either satin chrome or gloss black tips i love the integration into the rear bumper i think bmw is one of the few that does that mercedes-benz will have you think that they do that but they actually tuck away the exhaust underneath now so bmw thank you for continuing to do this correctly so anyways having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next here as always here is that exhaust clip Alright, so now since we are around to the back of the X5, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, a hands-free power tailgate does come standard. You gotta love that. So, you got your hands full of kids or groceries or whatever the case, uh, it's just gonna automatically open up for you. So, good for that. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 15 cubic feet behind the optional third row. I just wanted to mention it. It is an option. We don't have it. But behind the second row, 33.9 cubic feet with all rows folded, 72.3 three cubic feet. There is a 40-20-40 split, which essentially means it's gonna fold down super flat back there. Velour carpeting does come standard in that cargo area. That's definitely a luxury feature there. Grocery bags hooks back there. There are uh, chrome plated tie down anchors. There's actually a rear cargo cover, which covers the full back. So that was pretty cool. LED cargo lighting as opposed to the halogen bulbs. I like that as well. Um, if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find just in-floor storage. In our case, it looks like a spare tire could easily get thrown back there if you wanted that. Um, maybe it's an option. I don't know. Maybe I missed that. But for now, it's in-floor storage. If you wanted a spare tire, you could easily fit one back there. Did want to also mention there's a 12-volt power outlet back there then as well. But then making our way up to the third row legroom, we don't have it, but 31.2 inches. So Definitely not a ton of space, but second row legroom comes in at 37.4 inches. For reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the second row there. Rear ventilation, of course, does come standard. You got USB charging ports back there. Um, several USB charging ports, four of them to be exact. Some under the rear ventilation, but also some on the back side of the front seats as well. So tons of hookups back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders. You also got a little bit of storage as well, just in front of those cup holders. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, rear window sunshades, they go for $250 if you wanted to go that route. We don't have them with us here today, of course. You got a little bit of uh, storage just underneath of that rear ventilation, so that was pretty cool to find. And then heated rear seats are going to be optional. We got those as well, so spoil the rear passengers a little bit. But then making your way up to the front seats, let me just tell you guys, these seats are incredible. 16-way power adjustable front seats do come standard. That's 16 way that's so many different adjustments typically you find eight way power adjustable front seats so 16 way is insane uh lumbar support of course coming with that leather finishes do come standard heated front seats do come standard ventilated front seats i see those buttons as well so pretty much you got everything with these seats uh speaking of the headrest are incredibly comfortable they're almost pillow like as well so everything is done very well in terms of seat comfort without a doubt but now let's go ahead and take a look 
look at the steering wheel though because this is equally impressive tilt and telescoping of course it is power adjustable it is leather wrapped and you got the m logo at the very bottom if you go with that m sport package that we have today and by the way the m sport package also gives you these massive 10 and 2 grips they're bolstered so thick i always say i love that because it gives the driver a better feeling of being in control at least it gives me that feeling so I'm a huge fan of the steering wheel. It is heated, by the way, as well. So anyways, now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. Um, this is specific to the M Sport package because it is uh, M Sport specific key. It's got the colors and all that. Uh, on the side of it, you got the panic button, the button to pop the rear tailgate, the unlock button. But on the front of it, you got that lock button, which is the BMW logo. But if you press the lock button three times, that's going to be a remote start in case you were curious how that worked. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the shifter there. And so once started up, you got a curved 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. I love that look. And of course, like I said earlier, if you change the drive mode, the gauge cluster is going to adjust a little bit in terms of the colors and even the loadouts really. They're all pretty similar in terms of customization. So I wouldn't mind it if BMW added a little bit more customization, kind of like Mercedes-Benz does. But overall, gauges look absolutely wonderful. It gives you how many miles you have left until you hit empty. You got your outside temperature. You got speed limit recognition technology up there as well. And again, the head up display to go along with it those gauges that is where BMW really crushes it. It's so bright and it's so customizable. It just looks so dang good up there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. A panoramic moonroof actually does come standard on the X5. So that's something you don't always see that comes standard at least. Alcantara headliner goes for $650. We do not have that one with us here today. Ambient lighting, of course, does come standard. You can adjust the brightness and all the different color options, of course. Uh, as far as finishes go, this is finished incredibly. You got this matte texturized wood trim found on the doors as well as just above the passenger side glove box that goes along just underneath the infotainment screen. I love this carbon fiber look design found just above the passenger side glove box as well with the X5 kind of uh, put into that as well which by the way it changes the color of that x5 logo dependent upon the ambient lighting color that you display up there so that was pretty cool just in front of the shifter there you have a wireless phone charger as well as your key card a uh, little bit more storage next to that you got a 12 volt power outlet usb charging port a couple cup holders and within the center armrest it's an okay amount of storage in there you do have a little bit of lighting in there and a usb charging point but overall interior quality is wonderful i love our uh color combination that we have on this interior with like kind of the saddle brown and the black contrast with it so everything is done very well the matte wood texturized finishes and even the geometric design for the climate control switches here that's pretty dark cool as well and even the climate control switches they're all texturized in silver so yeah a lot of attention to detail done with this one but now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen it is a 14.9 inch touchscreen infotainment system bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard wireless android auto apple carplay factory navigation system you can access up there uh, ambient lighting settings you can access up there your climate control information your heated steering wheel and heated seat buttons all of that stuff can be accessed through the infotainment screen there's so many different things you could probably play around with um, i don't have time to play around with all of them but oh youtube you can access youtube up there i didn't know that so anyways, I guess you have to log in with a BMW ID for that, but I love that. But anyhow, of course you got your radio information up there as well. So when it comes to the sound system, uh, the standard sound system is a 10 speaker hi-fi sound system, but there is an optional Harman Kardon sound system that we have with us here today. That one goes for $875. That's actually an option I would probably go with because typically with upgraded sound systems, they're usually two to three grand if they're good. So $875, that works for me. I'd go that route. But having said that, I think you guys know what we have to do next then. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Gesture control. You got to love that. That's a feature I wish was on every single car. I love that song. I'm telling you guys. But... That was an incredible sound system. Like the bass was bumping. I definitely like that. Clarity was perfectly fine. Uh, that, Like I said at the beginning, before I even tested it out, that Harman Kardon sound system, that is an option I would definitely, definitely go with. And yeah, that was, that was amazing. And again, gesture control, 
absolutely amazing. That's an option that doesn't come standard, but you essentially turn your finger clockwise to turn up the radio, then turn it clock counterclockwise to turn it back down. So I love that one. Anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put this one in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, along with that panoramic view monitor there to the right, giving you the bird's eye view, letting you know what it's completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so, like I said at the beginning of the video, the X5 is an IIHS top safety pick. So heck of a start right there. Front side, side curtain airbags, of course, do come standard. In the back, you do have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear tile door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, active driving assistant, frontal collision warning, a blind spot monitoring system, you got lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So anyways, overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the 2025 X5, I love the curved tech. That's something I think they came out with last year. Not 100% on that, but it's different. Usually you find just straight tech and I don't know I like different so I think that looks good paddle shifters are ridiculously amazing they're incredibly quick and that's something I didn't expect off uh x5 that doesn't have an m associated with it so love that and this thing is plenty quick by the way so overall driving dynamics are pretty darn good in the x5 interior quality is great love the matte wood trim I love the ambient lighting colors I love our color contrast so overall they did a wonderful job with that as well super bright head-up display that's another thing that I really loved on this one the fact that it's so customizable that's something that BMW has on every other manufacturer right now so huge fan of that really the only I'll give you two things two room for improvements right here it is an unusable th third row if you were to go with that third row 31 inches really isn't a lot at all so uh, it's just not a ton of space so I'd probably stick to the two row like we have today also the other thing is this x5 can get pricey very darn quick those msrps that are rambled off at the beginning of the video just know there are so many different options that you can go with for this one really jacking up that price i think we're like fifteen thousand dollars over msrp in this particular x5 so keep that in mind when you're shopping but anyways let me know what you guys think of the 2025 x5 in the comments section below that's about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube YouTube. be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold